Well, gentlemen, congratulations. The two of you have succeeded. You are both moving forward into the third and final round of our Double Trouble competition. In this last round, we're going to be sending you back to your home forges, but we're not going to be asking you to build one iconic weapon from history. We're going to ask you to make two. You will be building these. A pair of Ginyunting swords. As one of the weapons issued to the Philippine Military Special Forces units, the Ginunting swords have proven to be effective and deadly weapons. The word Ginunting translates to scissors, and the inward curve of the blade's design allows for deeper cuts while also proving the user with a thin, lightweight weapon. When paired together as a sword and dagger, the longer sword serves as an offensive, long-range weapon, while the shorter sword serves to be a defensive post-quarter weapon. The intimidating dual swords are built for brutal combat as well as navigating thick jungle terrain. Well, gentlemen, you'll both have four days to build your pair of Ganutings. One of you is going to come back here and leave $10,000 richer, carrying the title of Forge and Fire Champion. We will see you in four days. Good luck. My name's Chris O'Brien. I am 43 years old. Ever since I was little, I loved creating things. I loved making things. I'm actually an art major, and when I ran across bladesmithing, I was just like, that's something I need to try. I'm gonna finish forging out this blade, and then I'm going to forge up another billet and do the second blade, and then that way I can heat treat at the same time with both blades. We're almost there. All right, we're about ready to hit it. That's the sound you want to hear right there. I decide I'm going to try a burn through. Getting the tip just a little hot. There, that looks good. Building these two swords did slow me down a little bit. I'm still on track to be able to finish with pretty good time. Looking pretty good, I like it, I like it. All I have left to do is sharpen the little blade and it'll be all done. My name is Brian Salisbury, I'm 60 years old. The reason I got into bladesmithing was I wanted a very particular knife for my work. I worked for the telephone company, so I made it, and finally I just said, oh, the heck with it, I'll start making knives. It keeps me busy and out of my wife's hair. Okay, I got them forged out. The curves look good, I got my tangs in. I've got to get these things in the oil and that way I know what I'm up against tomorrow. There it is. He's hard under there. So, second one going in. All right, let's see if she skates. Please, 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 please. Not grabbing anywhere. Very nice. Nice. Now I'm gonna drill the holes in them. We've got to finish up the last handle and I am done. Very similar look to them. Very happy. I gotta use these things. Yeah, <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right, Bladesmiths, welcome to the keel test. To find out how lethal your weapons are, I'm gonna take your weapons and deliver some slashes and thrusts on this big carcass. Brian, you're up first. You ready for this? Tear it up, you mad dog. I will. All right, Brian, let's talk about your Ganuntings here. First off, for Ganuntings, they're a little bit on the heavier side, but that lends itself to cut deep into the pig carcass. Your handle construction is smooth, and that gives me good retention. And overall, sir, your Ganuntings will kill. Nice. All right, Chris, your turn. So you ready for this? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. All right, Chris, let's talk about your Ganoon things here. First up, 
What I like about your weapon here is the balance. It's nicely distributed. The edges you have here are sharp. As you can see, pretty much cut a lot of this pig up. Overall, sir, your Ginun things, you will kill. Awesome. All right, gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time for the strength test, the bamboo chop. To test the strength and durability of your blades, I'll be taking your ganunting and chopping into our bamboo target here. Now, remember, this isn't about what your ganuntings do to that target, but what that target can do to your ganunting. Brian, you're up first. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. You ain't got nothing else to do this afternoon. <laughs> All right, Brian, first off, they've got some heft to them, but they don't feel bad. They, they, they actually swing pretty good. Your blade picked up just the teeniest roll. And then on the smaller of the two blades, there's, a, again, just the smallest deflection. Other than that, they held up beautifully. Well done. Thank you very much. Chris, you ready to play? Sure. <laughs> All right, Chris, right off, your handle design for me is just about perfect. As far as swinging these things, man, they're super light. The balance is really nice on these. I don't feel anything on your edge when I run my fingernail up this thing. No deflections, no rolls. So good job. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, we know your blades can kill, and we know they're strong. Now it's time to find out just how sharp your blades are. This is a sharpness test, the animal hide slice. Now to find out how sharp your weapons are, I'm gonna take your ganuntings and I'm gonna thrust and slash across this animal hide. Brian, you're up first, you ready for this? Absolutely. All right, let's do this. All right, Brian, the edges you have here are sharp. Every cut over there is quite clean, no jagged edges, and overall, sir, your weapon, it will cut. Thank you, sir. Chris, your turn, so you ready? Yep. All right, let's do this. All right, Chris, first up, the grinds that you have here are perfect for this kind of cut because there is no resistance. Overall, sir, your ginun things, it'll cut. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, we had three tests. We got two Smiths, but we can only have one winner. You guys both performed very well, but as you know, only one of you can go home the title of Forge and Fire champion and a check for $10,000. The judges have made the decision and today's Forge and Fire champion is Chris. Congratulations. Brian, unfortunately, your blade just didn't make the cut. Dave Baker's going to tell you why. Brian, I think I can speak for all of us when I say that competitions like this are the ones we love to see, where smiths bring back weapons that are so closely matched. This came down to the smallest things. Chris's blade was a little bit sharper than yours. It didn't take any damage. You did a great job. It's a beautiful blade. Thank you. Well, Brian, you're clearly a very talented smith, and your work speaks for itself on that. But unfortunately, your time here has ended. I'm going to have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. I put forth my best effort, but it is what it is. You can't let it eat you up too bad. I wouldn't do a damn thing differently. I got matched up against an absolutely excellent bladesmith. This time, he came out on top. We go again, he just might not. Chris? Congratulations. You are today's Forge and Fire champion. You got yourself a check for $10,000.
My blades perform very well. I thought it would be awesome for my kids just to prove to them that if you put yourself out there and put the work in, you can accomplish what you're after. My name is Chris O'Brien, and I am the Forged and Fire Champion.